Hey everyone, Knox here with the American Suppressor Association and welcome to the November 2022 Suppressor Policy Update. It should come as no surprise that the biggest news in November were the midterm elections. What many expected to be a red wave ended up being more of a red ripple as Republicans gained control of the House of Representatives by a narrow majority but failed to take control of the Senate. In my home state of Georgia, Herschel Walker and Senator Raphael Warnock are poised to go head to head once again on December 6th runoff to see which party will secure the final remaining Senate seat. If Walker wins, the Senate will remain in a 50-50 split with the vice president serving as a tie-breaking vote. If Warnock wins, the Democrats will pick up one seat overall, giving them a razor-thin 51-49 majority. Heading into the next Congress, the Hearing Protection Act remains ASA's top legislative priority. We will work directly with Representative Jeff Duncan and Senator Mike Crapo to continue to advance this common-sense legislation. We are optimistic that we will be able to gain momentum in the House with the goal of passing HPA through the lower chamber. However, given the gridlock in the Senate, it's all but certain the HPA will stall there. Nonetheless, the more momentum and education we can build upon, the better our chances for passage are long term. On the ATF side, we still have not received any response to our Freedom of Information Act request regarding ATF's summarial Form 1 denials. Interestingly, neither have Senator Steve Daines and 25 of his Senate colleagues or Representatives Andy Biggs, Jim Jordan, and 140 additional House members. We have spoken with A2F, who assured us they are working to get us the documents they are legally bound to produce, but more than enough time has already passed. As such, we are preparing a lawsuit to compel them to respond to our FOIA request. In brighter news, ASA Vice President Owen Miller attended Suppressed Fest in Leesburg, Florida, which was hosted by the NFA Review Channel. During the event, the NFA Review Channel raised over $10,000 to support ASA. We cannot thank Adam Johnson and his team enough for including us and supporting our cause. While Owen attended Suppress Fest, ASA General Counsel Michael Williams and I attended the Republican Attorneys General Association's Fall National Meeting in Charleston, South Carolina. During the event, we hosted a live fire suppressor demonstration for more than 20 attendees, including three attorneys general. It went incredibly well, giving all the attendees a newfound appreciation and understanding of suppressors. Special thanks goes out to CNS Shooting Sports for allowing us to host our demonstration at their range. When this video airs, the ASA team will be attending the National Assembly of Sportsmen's Caucus's Sportsman Legislator Summit in Bozeman, Montana. As one of our most fruitful and successful partnerships, we expect this to be another productive event and we'll report back with updates in December. For now though, that's all we have for your November Suppressor Policy Update. As always, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next month. As a nonprofit, our job is to fight for your rights and we could not do it without your support. Your membership and your donations fund our fights in Washington, D.C. and in state capitals across the country. I promise that the American Suppressor Association will not stop fighting until suppressors are removed from the National Firearms Act and are legal to own in all 50 states. Help us protect your right to protect your hearing by making sure your membership in the American Suppressor Association is active. Visit us at asamember.com to join or renew today. That's asamember.com.